Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and earlier today, Xiaomi launched a concept phone, the Mi Mix. In this video, let's take a quick look at five things you need to know about this. First things first, what's the Mi Mix? This is an almost bezel-less phone from Xiaomi. So why is it being called a concept phone? Well, my answer is kind of speculative, so let's save that to the end. So where were we? Oh, the display. The Mi Mix has a 6.4 inch edgeless display and has an amazing 91.3% screen to body ratio. To make this happen, Xiaomi has gone with a 5 megapixel camera to the bottom and this is a smaller camera of sorts. Interestingly, you can turn the phone around to shoot selfies if you find it awkward. The earpiece is also gone and, it, and in its place they have a cantilever piezoelectric ceramic acoustic sensor. What's that? Well, it lets you listen without a earpiece. But if it sounds convoluted, well, that's exactly how it sounds to me too. That's what Xiaomi said at the launch event and I'm just repeating it here. I'd like to get my hands on the Mi Mix to figure out how it works and when, if and when I do, I'll have to more, I'll have more, more to say on it. Anyway, for now, the display is rounded at the edges and has a native resolution of 2040 by 1080 uh, pixels. So it's kind of a 1080p display, but with a 17 to 9 aspect ratio. The reason for this, for the first time, Xiaomi has gone with on-screen keys here. So again, to maintain that 91.3% screen to body ratio. So since the on-screen keys are taking up some space on the display, they've gone with 17 is to nine. Anyway, this phone weighs in at 209 grams and is 7.9 millimeters thick, but the high screen to body ratio means the overall footprint is comparable to that of an iPhone 7 Plus. Xiaomi has gone with ceramic here for the build. The back, the frame, and even the buttons and it looks interesting to say the least. They also mentioned that the ceramic used falls at eight on the most scale and should be very resistant to scratches. If that doesn't put your mind at ease, Xiaomi is also providing a leather case included in the box. So for the proximity sensor, which has again been removed here, you know, the one that turns the display off when you put it to your ear. For that, Xiaomi is going with ultrasonic tech here. Talking about tech, Let's quickly jump to what's underneath the hood. We've got the Snapdragon 821 chip here, the higher clocked version, not the one that we found on the Mi 5S and the Google Pixel. We have four 128 and six 256 RAM storage options, no micro SD, but dual SIM support. The battery is 4400 mAh, and there's a fingerprint scanner as well that's present at the back. Other highlights include Quick Charge 3.0, Hi-Fi audio, USB Type-C, and it's worth noting that the 256 gig variant, which they call the Mi Mix Pro, has a gold-plated ring around the camera module and the fingerprint scanner. This is real 18 karat gold. And oh yeah, talking about the camera module, the Mi Mix has a 16 megapixel rear camera. And that's pretty much it for the specs. So let's now circle right back to why a concept phone. Usually a concept phone is one that's put on display, not announced for sale. And oh yeah, the Mi Mix does go on sale in a matter of days, 4th of November in China only at the, uh, for the moment at least. Uh, my good friend Amit from Phone Radar did have a talk with Hugo Vara from Xiaomi who said the Mi Mix is not making its way over to India anytime soon. Anyway, at least in China, the Mi Mix is priced at $34.99 and $39.99 yuan respectively for the uh, 4, 128 and 6, 256 RAM storage variants. That's 35,000 rupees or 515 US dollars or uh, and 40,000 40, rupees or 590 US dollars respectively. So again, sorry to keep deviating from the point, back to why a concept phone, though it's being sold, though it has a release date and a price to match. Well, it's because I feel, and this is purely speculation on my part, like I said at the start of this video, just my opinion, I feel this phone's built with an aim of achieving that great screen to body ratio. A reason why Xiaomi didn't really focus on anything else but the build, the, dis the display and the tech that they've put in to get this kind of build and display it together in a phone. So maybe this is Xiaomi testing to see if people are willing to spend almost $600 for innovation. That's not a price people generally tend to associate with Xiaomi. And if people actually end up being interested in it, if I'm right, I hope uh, Xiaomi does sell well, uh, cause that would mean they'd go ahead and do come up with more uh, con concepts like this, more new products, because I'd really like to see something new from some manufacturer. 
So anyway guys, that's it for this quick video on 5 things you need to know about the Xiaomi Mi Mix. A big thank you to Amit from Phone Radar for providing me with images and video clips uh, for use in this video. I'll leave a link to Phone Radar in the description, the article and the video and his video on the same. Do check them out and before you do check, go ahead, click any links. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, vote it down if you didn't and for more coverage on the Mi Mix as and when I can get my hands on one. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.